The settings for object snapping, which is located in the objects for snapping section of the properties panel, greatly simplifies the creation of footprints. This section determines which objects the mouse cursor will snap to during editing. To activate a particular object for snapping, you need to check the box next to this item or click the button so that it turns blue if you configure these options through the active bar panel. It's not recommended to have all these settings enabled all the time as closely spaced points will overlap each other and make your life more difficult. To quickly disable snap settings, you can use the convenient keyboard shortcut Control e which turns on the snap context menu without having to exit the current command and having to go to the active bar or properties panel. When creating a footprint, almost all the snap options are used at one point or another. For example, the most intuitive object snapping options are to the center of pads or vias, which are most often used in this editor to snap to an object when copying and for insertion of objects. Another very useful tool is 3D body snap points. These are reference points added to a 3D model. To enable their display, you must enable the corresponding item in the view panel under the system and colors section. They are displayed in the form of a crosshair both in the 3D and 2D views. These points are very handy when you want to accurately and quickly position a 3D model of a component on its corresponding footprint. And there are additional snap options to help when putting footprints together, for example, to accommodate mounting holes. But bear in mind that the snap will not work since the advanced snap settings are enabled only for the active layer and these points are stored in the 3D layer of the body. In this case, you can switch to the active layer, but it's more convenient to switch the snapping mode to all layers. You can also turn off snapping altogether, and to quickly change this mode without exiting the current command, use the Shift plus E hot buttons. If you want to create graphics or reproduce outlines on multiple layers, for example, for an assembly drawing or mechanical layer, snap to tracks and arcs could be really helpful. It makes possible snapping to an entire track or arc. For tasks such as the quick completion of a closed loop, using snap to tracks and arcs is very effective. You can also enable snap to track vertices, which has a higher priority to the previous snap and positions the mouse cursor at the final or central vertex of the track. The following graphical lines in the form of a closed rectangle will be created to highlight the footprint outline on the courtyard layer. This rectangle must be created with the snap to region, through-hole pad, and 3D models enabled, respectively. To do this, turn off everything except 3D in the snap settings, and turn on snap to the edge of the pad and region. Thanks to these settings, we can quickly affix the track to the border of the region, but the snap to the edge of the round contact pad is not ideal in this case, so you need to switch the snap to pad vertices along the tangents along the XY axes. And below, the line snaps to previously placed 3D body snap points of the 3D body. So that was how to use snapping to create a footprint. Thanks for watching.